Hello guys, Shubham Mia back again. So last week I showed you that how you can install this latest build of Corvus OS running on Android 13, that is Android T. So I have used this ROM for almost a week and now I am back with its complete review. I have used this ROM for a week and I want to tell you that how this ROM outperform with respect to other Android 13 ROM. So introducing the complete review of the Corvus OS of version T 5.1. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see how well this ROM outperforms as compared to any other Android 13 ROMs. So at the very first time, as we do, let's get into the system information. So moving towards the setting, as you can see at the front, there is a Corvus logo. On clicking on that, you will get this amazing animation of welcome showing that which version of Corvus OS is running on. Clicking on the open rep, open RAM and desk, you will see that you will get OD updates right on the deck. Clicking on that, you will see that there is one update available. So you can directly download from over here and also you can see this file icon. Clicking on that, you can set your destination that where you want to store this OTA. And right from there, you can easily install this OTA very seamlessly. Moving further, you will also get some other information. Clicking on about phone section, you will see everything on Android 13 and also this Android Easter egg. Pretty much obvious. Moving further, you will get all the things with respect to Android security patch update which is of 5th of November and the latest one and running on the silver core kernel which many developers are using nowadays for Android 13 ROMs. So that's all about the system information. Now let's move further regarding the Corvus customizations. So moving towards the customization section, you will see that in the upfront, you just have to swipe on the right side and you will see that they have included something called as Corvus setting. When you swipe there, you will see the list view of the customization and again they haven't included much of it. It's just about 5 to 6 sections where you can just do the theming of your phone where you can just set some custom colors with respect to theming. And also some other options which you usually get in most of Android 13 ROMs. Status bar settings where you can just enable or disable the things you want by just clicking on this toggle and you are good to go. One thing you might have been noticed if you watch my videos for Android 13 that many of the communities are reducing the amount of customization they include nowadays. I don't know the reason behind this but for me this is something positive because they actually include the things which are needed by the user or which are most of the use by the user. So not bloating with much of the customization they have just included the things which are actually used by the user in day to day life and that's something really good. So here is all about the customization. Moving further, you will get this seamless UI where you will get all the things which you actually get in Android 13. This is something regarding wallpaper and style which where you will get the Monet engine and you can customize the things as per your preferences. Here you can customize your font as per your needs and you can set whichever font you want without any issues. This is something Android 13 generic features and they have included everything and everything works perfectly fine. Moving further you will also get the other settings which is something pretty much good and they also included their very own application which is called as Raven Walls. As everyone knows since from Android 10 they have this application where you will get all the wallpapers from the community something they have customized themselves and also some wallpapers from the pixel devices this is something good as they provide a huge collection of wallpapers and that's really really attractive you can just select any one of it from the collection and you are good to go to customize the look of the desktop on your device moving further you will get the very very much famous and everyone's favorite widgets of android 13 this is the most famous one which is the clock one so dragging up to it, you can just select the style you want and you are good to go. Here you can see I have set the analog clock. And these some amazing animations too.
So now let's talk about the gaming performance of this ROM. Let me tell you guys when I have moved into the settings and also in Corvus settings too, I haven't got anything regarding gaming and or gaming performance stuff. Like for example I also tried searching in the universal search option and you can see there's only something called as games where you can see something regarding your games but you will not get any type of gaming mode. But as we always do we will surely test the game which is BGMI and see how is the gaming performance on this ROM. So here we go. So as you can see I am playing BGMI and this is something second or third gameplay which is a TDM. And as you can see that I am not facing any type of flags or issues. The performance is pretty much smooth and as Corvus always holds the record, they have given the better and best performance with respect to gaming. So in terms of gaming too, you will get satisfactory results and you are good to go if you want this ROM for gaming. Now let's move towards the battery performance of this ROM. So on testing the battery performance, once you charge to 100%, I got about 5-6 to six hours of screen on time. This screen on time is pretty much good when you are using on normal usage and also when you play some 2-3 to three gameplays of BGMI, you will end up at the day with uh, about some 10-20%. to 20%. So in my terms, this battery life is pretty much good. Again this depends to user to user as per your usage. For my opinion this battery life is pretty much good. Now let's talk about the safety net check or CTS bypass. So here we go this is our safety net check application. Now clicking on test and yes you will get safety net check bypass out of the box. This is really good that you will get safety net check bypass and you can use all your payment and finance application without any issues and you are good to go with it. So yes, you can use all your finance application without any issues and there is no need to flash matches separately and get your device rooted. Now let's snap some photos that is Gcam compatibility. So let me tell you guys that you will not get any type of stock camera out of the box in this ROM. This is something pretty much weird because Corvus never do this. They always include some of the other default camera application. But not to worry, we have Gcam 8.5 installed. As everyone knows, we can easily install the APK and get the, G and get the Gcam 8.5 feature seamlessly. So as you can see this is a toggle where you can switch between the photo and video settings and these are the whole lot of settings which you can customize and get your favorite photo or video as per your choice. In video settings you will get all the resolutions with respect to FHD you will get 30 FPS, 60 FPS and auto and also with respect to 4K you will get 30 and 60 FPS too that is something really good. Auto is disabled for 4K, I don't know the reason behind this but yes, you will get up to 60 FPS in 4K recording and thanks to the Snapdragon 845 chipset of POCO that this is possible no matter how old the device is. So moving towards the more settings, you will get all type of settings with respect to device and also some developer settings. Some advanced setting where you can set the settings which you have knowledge about or else just leave as it is. They also have something called as the developer settings. When you scroll down at the extreme, you will get something called as the developer settings. But make sure that you do that settings only if you have the complete knowledge about it. Or else when you touch any of the settings then it might get messed up. So take care of that. So yes in terms of photography too you will get all your needs fulfilled in this ROM and you won't be having any type of complaints regarding it. The application work pretty much at and it snaps some good photos and also shoots some quality videos definitely. Now let's talk about security and direct sound in answer. You can see this IR face unlock blinking. Yes, again, you will get the face unlock in this ROM, which is the IR one. And you can see this, this IR face unlock I am testing in front of you and this works pretty much fine. Also, if you want to test the fingerprint scanner, then it works within a second and you are good to go. So deep diving into the security settings, you will get over here the face unlock and fingerprint unlock, which is enabled. 
and one face is added and some two fingerprints. Also moving towards other that is Google, Google Play Protect then you will get all types of settings in it. You can also click on scan to get the latest updates regarding the security issues or anything else and you are good to go with it. Moving further you will get the sound settings which is something called as a direct sound enhancer. Moving towards the sound setting clicking on this option you will get direct sound enhancer. Just click on that toggle and also select the type of headphones you have and the type of preset you want. Once you do this you can also enable the hi-fi and also enable some other option which will give you the quality sound without any issues and you are good to go. Now let's talk about some numbers that is on to the scores. So talking about the numbers then the Antutu score clocked at 3,10,000. Let me tell you this score is really really low with respect to the Corvus OS performance and the type of stability they are providing. I really don't find these numbers reliable but for yes who want this, uh, who want to know these numbers, this is something regarding the Antutu scores. This doesn't impress me anyhow but yes this is how it is. Now let's jump to conclusion or the final words. So let me tell you guys that this ROM is working perfectly fine and I have used this ROM for a week. At that time I never find any type of issue. It's really smooth and it's stable and I didn't found any type of issues where the ROM gets rebooted or restarted at any time. You can use this ROM as a daily driver no matter they haven't included any type of gaming mode or anything but you can actually use this ROM to play games and also as a daily driver for a daily usage. So in my opinion you are good to go with this ROM if you want to install this and use on your POCO F1. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you again in the next time with the amazing ROM and some new video. Till then, peace out.